Consider your predicament. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Try to cure yourself, shop around, beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. And welcome to community update number three for Baldur's Gate 3. I have great news today. We finally locked down our early access content and we decided that we're going to bring Baldur's Gate 3 for the very first time in your hands in August 2020. That's to say, maybe. And the maybe has everything to do, of course, with COVID-19. We've been hit like everybody else in the world. We've been working from home, which wasn't necessarily the easiest thing as game developers because we like to huddle around the monitor and discuss about the things that are happening in the game. But nonetheless, we managed to make a lot of progress since you last saw the game at PAX East. So we think we're going to make it, depending on a couple of things. One of these things, for instance, is our performance capturing and motion capturing. Our People have started returning to the office. We've been uh, recording again. And if we can hit a certain speed in the recording, then we should be able to make it. The game is looking amazing. It is absolutely incredible to see how much progress has been made since PAX East. And I think when you'll see it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, the visual fidelity has increased a lot. And the cool part is that actually uh, we're going to launch a game in August in early access, but we still have an entire development period to go after that. So it's going to look even better by the time it's going to release. Uh, you will see things like improvement in combat. Uh, we did a lot of changes in how combat flows, how the camera moves, uh, how the initiative system works. Uh, the, all together they make for a much more refined combat experience, which is a lot of fun, I can tell you that. There are changes in the way that we do our narrator. That was something that we had a lot of feedback on. Uh, there's uh, the integration of the rule set is getting better and better. So we were getting a really good handle on how to do things. And so it feels like a, a really, really cool game with a lot of depth. Get out of my head. Here's the really cool part. You don't have to wait until August 20 to 20 to see what I'm talking about because we'll do another gameplay live stream and we'll do it just in front of Dungeons and Dragons Live on June 18th. And you will decide for me whether or not I'm going to do, kill a hobgoblin who deserves to be killed, his name is Dror Raxin, or if I'm going to descend into the Underdark. I'm very much looking forward to it, so I hope to see you there on June 18th. It's going to be a lot of fun. Take care, bye-bye.